Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go over how to run PS5 game dumps with the new ETA Hen 1.2B and Items Flow Homebrew app by Lightning Mods. This will require 4.03, 4.50, or 4.51 right now, but it may get ported over to the other firmwares later on. Okay, so if we jump over to the computer, there is a items flow compatibility game list. I will leave a link in the description. Go ahead and check it out. It does display the playable games as well as other playable games that may require patches in order for the full functionality of the game to work. We do have a list of the games with the failed e-boots. Um, this may require a different decryptor or maybe the current decryptor might just need a little patch in order to decrypt these e-boots. Um, we do have a list of the games that uh, had crashes, but they will probably just need a patch in order to work. Okay, so if we jump over to pkg-zone.com and we go ahead and select the items flow game manager. Currently it's 1.03. Um, but we'll download the latest version and we'll jump down to the bottom here and select the PS5 version. Once we do have it downloaded, it will be a just a package file. We'll go ahead and open up our USB drive and drag that over. We'll also need our game dump. Now I currently have one here. I renamed the folder to just an easier way that I like viewing it on the PS5 but it doesn't really matter what you name the folder. Now if we jump in, you can see that there is two eBoots here. The self files need to be fake self. Um, I will make a video later on on that, but if you open up your hex editor, and if you happen to see the eBoot.bin, and if you open it up in a hex editor, and you see .elf, it will not work. It will require to be fake self. So I will make a video on that later on, but uh, if you do download and it seems to be decrypted like so, and you have your dot elf down a little further, then you should be good to go. So we'll go ahead and close that out. And we're just gonna go ahead and drag that folder over to our USB. And we'll give it a few moments here to finish. Okay, so we're just about done here, five seconds to go. Once it is done, we can go ahead and jump over to the PS5. Okay, so now that we're over to the PS5, we'll go ahead and open up our internet browser. We'll go to the Echo Stretch 7 and 1 site. And we'll jump down to Idle Sauce Host. Go ahead and hit the jailbreak. Give it a few moments here. Shouldn't take very long. There we go, trigger a new AF. Okay, and we are in. From here, we'll go up to the ETA hen. Go ahead and launch it. Okay, and everything will load. Once it's done loading, we'll go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. Jump out of there. And we'll go up to our settings. Scroll down to our debug settings game hit OK on that and package installer now I do have my USB already plugged in so we'll go ahead and install items flow and then we'll go ahead and back out of there and we should see it on our main menu so go ahead and select it okay the app has been granted jailbreak if you wish to support lightning mods there is his Ko-Fi site so go ahead and hit OK. And the one we're looking for is the PS5 app. So if we go ahead and select that, go ahead over to our change app path. We'll go ahead and select it. And we're gonna come down to our mount. Go to USB. And we'll go ahead and highlight the folder and just hit square to select the folder. Once it is selected, you can go ahead and launch it from USB, but for performance, um, I would recommend copying it over to the internal, or if you do have an M2, go ahead and select that. 
So we'll go ahead and copy app folder by hidden X. And we're going to go down to our mount again. And we're going to go to our ext1, which is our m2. And we'll go into the data folder where I have my games. And I'm going to go ahead and hit square to select this folder. And as you can see, it is copying from the USB over. Now, depending on the game and uh, the size of the game and how many small files, this can take a little bit of time. So I do recommend not playing with anything. Wait until you get the message that it has been done. Okay, so we're just about done, 99%. And there we go. So now that we do have that message, we can go ahead and hit OK. It will bring us back here. And what I do recommend is just hitting circle the back end of there. And we will see the old one here. So we'll go ahead and hit X. And we will remove the virtual app. And we want to make sure that it removes from the menu. So just go ahead and hold in your PlayStation button. And just make sure that it isn't there anymore. So go ahead and jump back into items flow. From here, you can go ahead and unplug your USB. And then we'll go ahead and jump back into the PS5 app. Go to change app path. Jump down to our mount. EXT1, data. And we'll go down and look for Life is Strange. From there, just go ahead and hit square to select the folder. And we'll go ahead and hit launch. Okay, and here's our black screen. The debug message, that's usually with all games. Don't worry about it. And there we go. So we do have a network issue, but that is fine. We'll go ahead and hit OK on it. And as you can see, we do have PS5 games planned. So we'll go ahead and jump into the menu here just to show you that it does come up. In the meantime, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you did like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. And there you go. Life is strange, true colors. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.